Okay, on to the next round and we will be working in amethyst. Um, don't forget, I'm working in the alternative colourway. So that means I'll be working in the silver mist. But if you're using the original colourway, um, the blanket was first designed in, then you'll be working in the amethyst. So we are now working in half trebles and we are completing our lovely round, which is looking rather superb if I do say so myself. So we're going to start with half trebles into the corner. Um, so your pattern will read that you're starting with half trebles into your corner and that will be two half trebles. Oh. And then two chains. And then two more half trebles into the same corner space. There we go. And then from here, we will skip the next stitch. Sorry, I keep having to align my work. Um, skip the next stitch and then we're going to go half treble into the next four stitches. So one, two, three, four. And then we will work a treble around the front post here. So that's your corner. Look how nice and neat that looks. And then we're going to skip the first two stitches and we're going to create five half trebles. So one, two, skip into the third stitch and create your half treble. And then one, two, three, four, five. Right, let me just pull my wall a little bit better. And then you half treble, oh sorry, treble around your front post. So making sure that's a treble. Skip those two stitches and then work into the next, into the third stitch from your, your post. And then one, two, three, four, five. And then treble post. There we go. So what we're creating really, we're bringing back those seven stitches so everything corresponds, so we're not adding stitches. So in a way, we're slightly decreasing. But what's happening is we're getting this lovely kind of texture. It's really starting to develop now where we've um, the willow pattern's kind of cupping slightly. And you can kind of see that there. Look, can you see how that's kind of... And it's giving us lovely kind of texture um, within the blanket and it's looking really nice, it's almost like a frilling, but... It's lovely with ombre colour. So if you decide to do this colour, um, this blanket in a different colour way, I would probably suggest looking at this area and see how your ombre works. So how your graduation of colours work. And then that way you can then build those colours up to see how they work elsewhere. So, oops, skip those first two stitches. One, two, three, went into the wrong one then. And then half treble, five. One, two, three, four five and then your treble post again front post front post treble one two go into the third chain and create the next five and so on and so on so when you come to your corner obviously i've shown you how to work the corner um on the other side we need to show you how what happens when you come up to a corner um and what you do then because obviously you're doing it in reverse so skip the first stitch Work one, two, three, four that way. Okay. No, sorry, I've done that wrong. So it's uh, first stitch and then four and then skip the last stitch. That's right. Sorry, my brain went a bit blah, 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 blah. And then back to here and we're back to a front post dribble. Once you learn how to do front post, I'm sure you'll use them in lots of different ways. And that is that row there. I'm going to complete this whole row and then we're going to come back to creating our next texture that will give this last piece of our work a nice frame. So it'll it'll work in its own kind of, sit in its own textured border um, against um, half trebles neck. So we're not far off now from completing chapter two, but if you can just bear with me a moment, we will short, be there shortly and we will use the alt next alternative colour. Um, okay, so I shall sit, pause here and I shall catch you up on the reverse. Oh, where am I? <laughs> okay. 
There we go. Okay, my lovelies. Well, we are back now with the second um, part of this video. And this is where we'll be working the front post treble, sorry, back post treble, and creating this lovely um, finishing detail here. So this is what's interesting here. So take your yarn over, go through that half treble, making sure it's at the back of your hook for your back post, and then pick up those three um, loops. Oh, that's my dog tumbling down the stairs. When I say tumbling, I mean he's walking. He's a big dog. And then um, we're going to do a front... Uh, no, it's a back post treble. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, dog confused me. Oh, Todd. Right. Carry on. So everything's back post. You just keep going all the way around till you get to the corner. And then in that corner, I want you to create two half trebles, two chains and two half trebles. Lovely jubbly. And I think after chapter two, I think I'm going to have to do a bit of sewing to sew in these ends because they're getting a little bit wayward. So let's hope we get that under control. I didn't do it in chapter one. So in chapter two, my lovelies, make sure you do your bit of crochet. Crochet those weaves in, please. Those tails. So we should get more of a 3D texture at this point. Sorry if my hands are... Oh, I can't get them to get my wool right today. It's one of those days, I think. It's been a very busy day in our shop today. We've been making cakes and afternoon teas. We've got a big party on tomorrow. There's lots happening. There we go. So, if you're from anywhere other than little old England in the West Midlands, which is where we're based, this is what my accent is, the good old black country. So named by Queen Victoria. Because she saw all the dirty faces from the coal mines. So we have a little shop in a little village called Gornal. And apparently our dialect, our accent, is one of the oldest remaining accents in the whole of the UK. So if you're from America, any part, make sure you say hi. Um, if you're anywhere from in the UK, make sure you say hi too. Oh, a fly. Oh, there's always something, isn't there, when you're trying to do a video. So, there you go, my lovelies. That is your front post. All you need to do is just make sure that when you do your stitch placement, yarn over, go in front, push it back, and make sure you're through the back loop right there. Yarn over again, and go through both those loops like that. Lovely jubbly. And do that for all of the stitches. Just cover them all. There's no decrease. There's no skipping in this, in this row. Just keep working those front posts. And once you, you um, do a few back posts, they're much easier to find. The first few can be a bit fiddly. But then all you need to do is just keep going. Just keep going. Right, so after this one, we have... Just half trebles, and we'll be doing that over a couple of rows. So um, I'm going to leave you here on this row, and then we will catch up, I think, after the half trebles, because I think you guys are pretty much okay following um, the pattern on that one. We won't require, I don't think, a video for that. So I shall do this row, and then I should do my um, rows of half trebles. And I think from that point, um, let me just check the, my other blanket. We will have a moss stitch, but I think that will go into chapter three, if I'm honest. So in all fairness, we'll come back, we'll review what we've done in the next video just to make sure everybody's on um, track and we'll just talk about what's going to happen in, uh, in chapter three. So there you go, lovelies. We're not far off now from being done. Hello, my lovelies. And um, here we are. I've finished those rows. I hope you've got an OK. Everything's quite simple from this point forward. So you've done your back posts two rows of trebles and we've got a moss stitch as well so it's pretty exciting for next week guys we've got um oh what's my dog doing um so we have a um exciting week next week we will be working on some interesting um textures yet simple but effective as always 
Um, we have some front posts where we're creating some captures with the. It's more the excitement, I think, of the colours. Um, the colours are really starting to sing at this point, and um, it's really nice to see the combination how they're kind of interacting together, which I think is really nice. Um, I'm trying to think what else we have coming up. We have some bobble stitches coming up. So we will be reversing our make and working into the wrong side. So we will discuss what's the right side, what's the wrong side, how to identify the front and the back of our stitches. So there's a little bit, so a couple of tips and tricks for you there as well. Um, but all in all, I think it's looking pretty good, which in all fairness, I have to say, chapter two has been a bit rocky for me. Um, I've had some games trying to make sure that pattern all lines up for you and um, it's meant frogging back and all sorts um, of things as well. So um, just make sure you're counting your stitch count when you come to do your willow. This will need 68 stitches for you to be able to create this space here. If you have any issues, please get in touch. We are more than happy to help and support you as where we can. But yeah, this is chapter two coming to an end and thank you for joining us. I really appreciate and um, are grateful for the fact that you've trusted me and that you're happy to join my pattern. Um, I wonder what that was then. Um, so yeah, and uh, I look forward to seeing your makes. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and um, send us your pictures. We'd love to see them and put them into a blog when all the blankets are made. So there you go, my lovely. Right, anyway, we'll see you in chapter three. Have a lovely, lovely weekend or week, whatever it is you have planned. See you soon.